the king and the cobbler written by manoj das narrated by samir ranjan das on the outskirts of a town in rajputna now known as rajasthan stood a hot no other hot was ever frequented by so many people as was this one in that hot lived ravidas the cobbler but why should so many people be visiting the hot of a cobbler though a cobbler by profession ravidas had been an intimate friend of the great sage kabir and had come to be regarded as a sage himself Several people became his disciples. The Raja, the ruler over a small territory, also lived in the same town. He had heard so much about the virtues, powers and compassion of Ravidas that he was eager to become his disciple. But would not it look ridiculous for a king to become a cobbler's disciple? He was therefore hesitant to call on ravidas but as time passed it occurred to him that he was perhaps letting a great opportunity slip by it is not often that one comes across a real sage should not he take advantage of ravidas presence in his own town an opportunity soon came to him It was the day of a certain festival and the town folks were away at the fair the raja rode by ravidas hot after making it sure that nobody was anywhere nearby to see him he got up his horse and entered the hot ravidas it seemed was washing his hands in a pot of water He was surprised and delighted to see the raja. He stood up and welcomed him. I have come to you not as the raja, O noble sage, but as a humble seeker. Take me as your disciple and give me some spiritual experience, said the raja. Ravidas immediately handed the pot in front of him over to the raja. and asked him to drink the water in it now the raja was in a quandary the water looked dirty was not the cobbler playing a practical joke on him would not he later go about telling others how he had made the raja drink dirty water but he did not dare to refuse he did not trick he was wearing a woolen gown with long sleeves he held the pot near his mouth in such a way he could slowly pour the water into his sleeves which absorbed it but put down the pot when it was empty you can go now raja meet me again when you feel like said ravidas The raja was only too anxious to leave the hut for fear of being seen by the people returning from the fair. He bowed to Ravidas, got to his horse and galloped away. A month later, the raja was told of a strange happening. The royal washerman had a little daughter who was uneducated and innocent. But one fine morning, pearls of wisdom started flowing from her mouth people began flocking to her for her blessings her conduct was like that of a sage who had realized divinity the raja was curious accompanied by his courtiers he visited the washerman's house the little girl went running to him and after greeting him said How grateful I am to you, O oh, Raja. Grateful to me, for what? Queried the Raja. Whatever I have got in your gift, O oh, Raja. One day, you had sent a woolen gown for washing. My father asked me to clean it. When I took the garment into my hand, 
I found this leaves wet. I thought that some very sweet drink from the Raja's cup must have fallen on this leaves. I pressed my lips and sucked the juice from this leaves. It tasted wonderful and a great change came over me instantly. I know I was no longer the ignorant daughter of a poor washerman. My mind was filled with joy and compassion and my heart with strength. I began uttering words which I had never uttered. I have since been attracting so many people. The girl explained. The Raja was perplexed. He ran to Ravidas and told him of all that had happened and requested an explanation. O oh Raja, my heart was filled with delight when you suddenly appeared before me. I had just then received a strange power which turns ordinary water into nectar. If one drinks it, it would give him enlightenment. I offered you that nectar, but you wasted it, and the washerman's daughter was lucky to benefit by it. The Raja stood embarrassed and silent for long. He then appealed to the sage, O oh great soul, cannot you give me the nectar once again? No, Raja, the power comes to me only when I am extremely delighted. One cannot feel delighted by a mere wish, you know. I was delighted when you met me as a humble seeker. Replied the sage. Looking at the king with kindness, he added, Do not grieve. Continue to aspire for God's grace. A sincere prayer will never fail.